Hello, Pisces. So great to be with you. My name is Tara from Tara One Love Coach. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. Today, we are going to be doing a love reading for Pisces. Okay, um, I'm excited about this reading, Pisces. Um, I will begin with laying out the energies that surround you, Pisces. If you're new to my channel, on this channel, what we talk about is love and relationships through the tarot. If this is something that interests you, consider subscribing. I would love for you to subscribe. Okay, so let's get started. And let's start with the energies that are around Pisces. I will be using the Queen Moon Oracle. We start off with abundance. Abundance. We move into balance. And, oops, that's upside down. And nourishment. Okay, so these are the energies so far that are surrounding you, and I will be using my energy cards, energy oracle cards, to kind of zone in a little bit deeper on the energies that surrounding you. Okay. First chakra, Archangel Michael. Journey. And fourth chakra. Chakra, Archangel, Archangel Raphael. Okay, so this is a time for you, uh, Pisces, that you will be experiencing great, great abundance coming into your life. Uh, you're at the brink of something big, something new, and. This something may be connected to what you have been desiring for a long time. So I feel like it's not only going to be one thing, but I do feel like it will be many things that will be coming into your life that will be great abundance for you. As we move further, we move further into balance. This is also a time for you to focus on being balanced. I'm going to go a little bit deeper with balance and just to get the clear meaning on what spirit is saying with balance. And with balance, the message is, seek balance. Extremes of anything are rarely healthy or useful. There may be an overreaction that has caused the issue. Ground yourself and allow your strength to rise from there. Be aware of where the imbalance balances in your life are at present. Okay. So that is the message for you for balance, and we will move into nourishment. Nourishment. And the message for nourishment choose to nourish your mind, body, and spirit, feed your values. When you are jealous or envious, 
It is a sign of what you are actually hungering for. Pay attention to your health. So this may mean eat a balanced diet and so that it could be nourishing to the body. With this, you may need to eat more fruit too. With the um, all the abundance here. So this could be geared also towards your diet, how you're eating, giving you more balance in your life. Um, we have also the first chakra, which is Archangel Michael. And the first chakra is the root chakra that rules over grounding uh, and security. It's having a sense of stability in your life, okay? And Archangel Michael is coming in to give you that grounding, that balance in your life that you need with the root chakra here. Um, that also rules over the reproduction system as well, right in that area as you can see it. There's a journey that you're going on. You have the sign here, which is showing you many directions to go in. But there is a journey. You may be switching your course right now in your life. And you may be going on a spiritual journey. This may be a physical journey, but it shows that you're going in a new direction. Archangel Raphael uh, with the fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra, uh, is bringing healing uh, to your heart. It's aligned with nourishment. Is doing those things that will bring healing and nourishment to your body. Um, the fourth chakra, Archangel Angel Raphael, is about healing the heart. Okay? Um, this can actually be your physical heart as well. Um, spirit is coming in saying that is doing a work on you spiritually and physically connected to your heart. The same as um, Archangel Michael could also be working on that area of reproduction and also grounding you, making you stable. Okay, so uh, Pisces, these are the energies that are coming around you. So let's move into the reading and see what path that you are on in regards to love. Temptation. So this is the devil card. And something has been tempting you. Something has been really, um, may have been really pressing you, bringing you into a direction that could be a little bit risky. Let's see what's in your past. Uh, we have the two of arrows. So you've been struggling with a decision to make. Um, whether to go in this direction. So you've been sitting on the fence or possibly blocking a situation. You can also be blocking um, the, the devil energy or the temptation energy here. It seems like you're going in another direction here as I pick it up. Five of arrows is a, is a card of challenges um, with the five of arrows. So it speaks of there may have been some challenges here are, I believe the five of arrows is winning at any cost. Um, and usually when I see this card, there could be some other energies at play that may be connected to the situation. Pisces, uh, we have uh, Earth sign here, whether Virgo, uh, Capricorn, or Taurus. Uh, so this could be an energy, whether Moon arising um, at play as well, a significant other. Let's move a little bit deeper. 
there have been some challenges here with uh, a, a special someone. Maybe this is why uh, Archangel Raphael is coming in your defense, protecting your heart. So this angel is the protector of your heart, protecting that fourth chakra, okay? And the three of coins is where you're building um, it has like this tower here, so it shows that you're building, you're trying to build your life back up, which you may have been met with some challenges as you were trying to build. The angel is actually bringing a sense of comfort. Whether you are a significant other may be also going through these things. This may also relate to a significant other as well on their end. Um, but there are some things that is being weighed out. We see the two of coins. There could be more than one person uh, involved, whether it's on your end, whether it's on their end. Um, but there is some balancing. There's a balancing act that needs to be done. And you have the king of arrows coming out, which is Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Uh, coming out. So here's another energy coming in very direct. Um, they may have been bringing forth some uh, sharp words, messages may have been coming in. Um, but you have the five and you have the six of staff. So you have the five of uh, pentacles, which speaks of um, someone feeling abandoned and there could be a child involved as well um, someone feeling ignored or abandoned um, but at this time with the six of staffs this is someone that feels more in power or more victorious um, also so in this reading, it speaks of some challenges, whether it's challenges with money, whether it's challenges with health, um, but it's speaking of some victories and some challenges, some struggles and you overcoming uh, struggles. Let's move in. Let's get more of a feel here. Let me just see. Just needing a little more confirmation with this reading, deception. So someone may have been dealing with deception or something being not revealed or someone not being transparent. So there is some energy here. So now that I start off with this temptation, this could be an energy that you may have been fighting up against actually, or some type of energy that may have been coming into your life. And this has made you reluctant to go any further, which you may have had a, a, a some battles with this individual. Um, but you're looking for security in your life. And it feels like this energy is sort of kind of making it unstable or may have made it unstable um, and may have caused some anxiety in your, in your life. Um, but also allowing you to go in a different direction here with the five of coins. You're walking away from a situation and we see that you're on a new journey here as well. But Spirit says that you're going to be walking into abundance in your situation. So there's someone going to come into your life that you will have the chemistry with. But you also got to be careful of this energy that may have not been very positive in your life that may be manipulative or deception but there is someone from the past that may be coming back or someone that is new that may feel like a past life relationship and this is going to be someone that's going to express how they feel and express their love this is going to be like a divine love, a special type of love. It may not start off as very quickly. Some, it may be love and romance off the top. You may feel that strong chemistry here. 
but I feel like there's going to be a very unique divine closeness that you are going to have together. It feels like it's going to be a divine love. So let's read the tea leaves. Bo, you are highly thought of. So this person, who this person is, they are thinking a lot about you. You got the red is the sign of love and passion. Um, but they are thinking about you. They may be hiding their feelings. Younger woman. This is how they see you. Dealings are relationship with a younger woman. So there is a younger woman at play. This could be someone with dark hair. Um, but you have to watch out for the vulture. And we do have that deception and the devil card. So there are going to be some energies that will test your relationship. Um, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Okay? And we do have that anxiety card here buried underneath here. Right? Something you could be hiding um, or something they could be hiding. Uh, whomever it resonates with it. But this is going to be a time where you're going to draw strength is by you guys, uh, this new love, you expressing how you feel. I feel like this person is going to express their love for you. They may hide it at first. They may guard it at first. But gradually, once they feel that they can trust the relationship, they are going to be expressing themselves if they're not already. The month of July is going to be a very special month for you, and you're going to have happiness. Your dominant house is happiness, a Pisces. So if this resonates with you, remember to give the video a thumbs up. Also tell me how by leaving a comment in the comment section. Also share the video. Until next time. God bless you.